Nothing like it. it. Made everything seem okay. Uh, you know, took everything away. Forgot about the loneliness. Forgot about the pain. About the relationship I had with my parents. I was growing up. Just felt good. And when I had it, I felt like I was flying up in the sky. But when I didn't, just felt like I was falling. I was almost 13 when I had my first drink and it quickly escalated. Started drinking every weekend, getting drunk as much as I can, taking Xanax, Valium, taking it several pills a day. Started smoking weed. When that wasn't enough, went for the ecstasy and then the cocaine, the LSD and whatever I could get my hands on, I would take it. I needed drugs to ease the pain, you know, if I didn't have them, Everything just seemed to fall apart around me. I was depressed, I was lonely. Cut myself just to try and feel something else. I always found comfort on roofs. Um, just look up at the stars, let myself get lost in them. Imagine myself in a different world. Just felt safe there. I remember when I was on cam one time and, and I, I climbed up on top of a roof and I looked down instead of up and in the spur of the moment I just said to myself goodbye and you know, if it wasn't for that counsellor there I wouldn't be here. Going to the clinic I was offered an ultimatum but I think deep down inside of me, I really wanted to get better and I really wanted to, to, to be helped. I've lost a lot of people because of the disease I have. Not all of them are dead, but they relapse. And some of them try and find a way back in and keep on failing and some just don't. Last month I was at one of my friend's funeral. Someone who really helped me a lot accepted me for who I was. He wanted it so bad and kept on trying, kept on trying, but I think at some point he just couldn't handle the emotions anymore. His demons got to him. Sometimes battles are just too hard to fight. We don't have to be alone forever. Someone told me once, you don't have to like it to accept it. I love that idea because it lets me just glide. I don't look for the big happies and when I'm not happy, I'm not horrendously sad. I look for smaller happiness in everything I do. And if I didn't accept the things I didn't like, I wouldn't be able to do that.